morning. Welcome back to Paspa 2. I have Carrie Bassoon here with me with Catherine Como of the Farmer's Market at Monkers Park. Good morning, Catherine. And nice to meet you, Carrie, a.k.a. Spicy Man. <laughs> and that's the name of his booth there at the Farmer's Market at Monkers Park. You can find them there every Saturday. Come rain, shine, sleet, snow. Um, the, those guys, they will be there. But um, Carrie, tell me about the food that you have there at the farmer's market. So, first of all, we do Trinidad. I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. So we do Trinidad and Tobago street food. This is called doubles. It's two flatbread called barra with chickpeas. Um, this one actually has some curry chicken on it. And we have a sweet mango chutney as well as uh, cilantro type herb sauce. We say shadow benny sauce in Trinidad. Yeah. And um, a fire roasted pepper as well if you choose, if you like the heat. And what Catherine has here is called aloo pies. Or Pull it in there, aloo. Catherine. I want to see it. Okay. And that's called okay. what, Carrie? Aloo is potato, right? So it's potato pies with the same filling that we have in the doubles. Mm. How neat. Now, I know when, when we started, got my nose, got me sniffling already talking about spicy food. <laughs> you asked me if I, well, you asked Catherine if she likes spicy food. And I said, well, you know what? With age, my taste buds are getting spicier. They really, really are. So I see you have a lot of um, sauces, seasonings there. Tell me what is that I'm lined up in the front in the um, bottles? So we also do... Um, in Trinidad, we're known for, uh, we say, pepper sauce instead of hot sauce. So I also do like spicy and mild on them. We have a few different flavors. We have like a regular hot sauce as well as mild. And then there's spicy mango sauce. We also have, um, we also have spicy and mild lime sauce as well. And I also have two marinades. Um, and I'm sure a lot of people are familiar with like juke, juke chicken, juke yeah. pork, juke chicken. So I also have those marinades that you can marinate your meat and become your own Caribbean chef as well. Yeah, that's always a challenge. You know, I'm making those, I'm making like jerk chicken and things like that because you just cannot get the spices right. It's, it's a little challenging for someone if, it's, if they're not born and raised on it. But you obviously have been. Yeah, so jerk is traditionally really Jamaican um, style of seasoning, and we made it easy. So all you got to do is get the marinade, marinate your meat. I recommend at least overnight, but for me, I do it more than 24 hours, all right? Mm -hmm. And then you can, normally it's grilled, or you can bake. I've tried rotisserie as well, so it's very versatile. Yeah, I bet it is. So um, are you doing or where are you from? From I'm from Trinidad and Tobago. Trinidad. OK. All right. So um, where are you from here in Acadiana? I live in Lafayette. Oh, you live in Lafayette. OK. OK. All right. So you're there. How long have you been there? The farmer's market. Yeah. We've been for a year and a half. A year and a half. Well, welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Great to have you, especially when you're bringing food that's already pre-cooked. We like that. <laughs> we like that. And you know, well, when it comes to um, food, at least here in Acadiana, um, it doesn't matter if it's breakfast, because I know you guys are there during the daytime, you know, the morning hours. It really doesn't matter. If it's good, it's good. Yes. Yeah. We love food. <laughs> we love food. <laughs> So are you doing the cooking right there on site or is it that you're bringing it in pre-cooked? I didn't hear that. What is that, sir? Are you cooking there on site or are you bringing it in pre-cooked? I know we prepare everything and have it in warm us, keep it warm and bring, bring it in. Oh, so we get to smell it as well. <laughs> Um, okay, so um, any recommendations? I know you spoke about chicken. You can put this on just about anything, really. Give us a, um, a recipe we may not know about. I know we always say chicken. But these spices a can be used on other foods as well. So our hot sauces can use on anything. Um, your rice and gravies, red beans, 
um, the citrus ones, like the, the spicy lime, mild lime, and even the spicy mango, it goes great with seafood dishes. So like a seafood gumbo, the mango actually, my wife and daughter, they like to put it in the dipping sauce when, the dipping sauce when they boil the crawfish. Oh, and stuff. Yeah, spicy. spicy crawfish. Yeah, so, yes. no, well, they make the dip with it. Yeah, and yeah, so okay. it, it's very good. Yeah, and I just Anything. had a, I just had a thought. Um, like even salad dressing, like add into mix it into your salad dressing. Can you imagine that? And you actually, get the flavor. Oh, I actually had some customers come and tell me that's what they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah, cool. They, salad dressing. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Take it to a whole nother level. <laughs> Take you where you've never been. <laughs> all right, Catherine. So everything is still how's everything over there? The pavilion and all that. How is that coming along? I haven't been out there in a minute. We're just begun on the pavilion and the market continues. We will continue throughout the work of the pavilion. We still have parking available on site okay. as well as free parking with the with the free shuttle where you park over in near Black and Coliseum and you get on a shuttle that comes every 15 minutes it runs and brings people here to the farmer's market. But yeah, the market is, is going and it will continue going throughout the construction phase. Okay. And Carrie, what's the menu? I see the menu over there. Um... So, oh, yeah. that's that. It really highlights the menu is a double and alu pie or potato pie. And you can get it with, with chicken as well. That's, so you can get it without chicken. This yes. would be a vegetarian with option. Without, without, if, you, yeah. if you chose not to have the chicken, it's a, it's a vegetarian. And we also have some people who come to us, they don't do gluten. Yeah. So we leave bread out and we give them the fillings. And with the chickpea, it's really a nice meal for them just having yeah. Huh. Yeah. Sounds nice. Sounds nice. Sounds good even for the digestive system. I know spicy is supposed to be, you know, help with all that. I'm trying to do this diet thing, so I'm trying to find my way into this place. <laughs> Beauty about it, though, is for those who don't like spice, we, we don't cook it with pepper. So the pepper is to be added afterwards. So it's up to you if you like spicy or not. We don't have to put pepper in it for you. All right, spicy man, Trinidad, right? Ma'am, Trinidad and Tobago. Okay, I got it. <laughs> spicy man, thank you very, very much. It's a pleasure meeting you and the food. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm thinking of that salad dressing. Oh, a whole nother level, whole nother level. Catherine, thank you very much. I say come check us out. <laughs> well said. Stay with us. We'll be right back. 